now qualitative analysis of face portraits. That, that's actually my favorite topic. So I'm going to teach you how to sketch face portraits by hand and how to extract meaningful information from uh, the, the sketches and from just um, the uh, coefficients of the matrix. So first, uh, notice that the origin is always going to be a critical point. And uh, we're going to, usually we assume that the determinant of the matrix A is not zero, meaning that the origin is the only critical point. And, um, and recall that on, we, basically we know how to solve systems of differential equations. Of course, if we um, you know, solve the, the system, if we write down the formula for the solution, then we would be able to figure out how the face portrait looks like and um, what the stability is and so on and so forth. But my, my point is that you, you can do it much easier without actually computing the, the solution. So here is my first example. So notice that we have solved this already. But what I, I want to, to do is the following. So notice that uh, here we have two eigenvectors and uh, two eigenvalues. So the first eigenvector is, um, let me write it here. So that's the first eigenvector. It corresponds to its coordinates are 1, 2. It corresponds to the eigenvalue 3. And the, this eigenvalue is positive. That, that is important. The second eigenvector is 1 and minus 2. So 1 minus 2, it looks like this. So that's 1 minus 2. And the corresponding eigenvalue is minus 1, and it is negative. So now, why did I, I do this? Now suppose that I want to plot the um, sketch, the face portrait on the um, plane x1, x2. So let me begin with uh, sketching the eigenvectors. So we have 1 minus 2. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So 1, 2 is this vector. And 1 minus 2 is the this vector. Now, Uh, we know that there exists a solution parallel to the vector 1, 2, so which is, this is a solution, and this is also a solution. So the uh, solutions corresponding to um, uh, positive eigenvalues, they tend to go away from the origin, so that's why the direction along this is because it is going to be away from the origin. This is because um, the corresponding eigenvalue is positive. Now, if the eigenvalue is negative, then they tend to, to point towards the origin. Let me, you know what, let me, uh, maybe it's all right here. All right, uh, and now these are the solutions corresponding to eigenvectors. What are other solutions? So now you just need to kind of fill it. There the, 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 the should be something like this, right? Something like this, so it is consistent. Something like this. Something like this. And something like this. So that's the sketch of the face portrait. And we see that from the, the face portrait, we see that uh solution curves they are most of them are kind of hyperbolicish looking curves that first approach the origin but then go away from the origin and then there are two um eigenvectors and along them one of them approaches the origin the other one goes away from the origin and here is the the actual plot and so uh in in such case we uh, say that the origin is a saddle point Right, so when one eigenvalue is positive and the other one eigenvalue is negative, 
then we say that the origin is a saddle point and it is unstable because almost every trajectory eventually goes away from the origin. Now, did this example? So let me um, make the plot first. Right. Um, hmm. Now, eigenvalues. Ah, uh, sorry, eigenvectors. Eigenvectors are one zero. Um, one zero is here, and I'm, I'm now going to plot the whole straight line. And the other eigenvector is ah, uh, sorry, that that's one one, <laughs> one one. And there is one zero, and one zero is is the this one. That's one zero. Now, both eigenvalues are negative. Um, so the eigen, the negative eigenvalue is minus zero point five here. It is negative, and the eigenvalue corresponding to one one is uh, minus one point five. It is also negative. From the fact that it is negative, we know that all the solutions approach the origin, so the direction should be like this. Well, that's the two uh, solutions corresponding to eigenvectors. So what are other solutions? Well, now we know that since around the origin, everything is going to be dominated by the uh, eigenvalue that is smaller in magnitude and far from the origin, so this is near, this is far. Far from the origin, everything is going to be dominated by the eigenvalue uh, which is larger in magnitude. It means that far from the origin, everything is kind of parallel to the line, uh, to the vector 1, 1, but then when approach is the origin, it becomes parallel to to the other eigenvector, and that's how the sketch of the face portrait looks like. All right, so here is the actual face portrait and the, the sketch. In this case, when we have two real eigenvalues, both are negative then everything converges to the origin, then the origin, the type of a uh, um, critical point at the origin is called a nodal sink or asymptotically stable node. Yeah, so it happens if we have two real eigenvalues and both of them are negative. All right, uh, and one more example. So the two, um, so let me one, two, one, two, one, two. So the two um, eigenvectors are two, one. The first one, so two, one is here. That's two, one. The corresponding eigenvalue is three, it's positive. And the other eigenvector is one, one. So I will draw the whole line, straight line. That's one. Uh, sorry. The corresponding eigenvalue is two. It is also positive. So both eigenvectors are positive, meaning that uh, all solutions, they tend to diverge away from the origin as t goes to infinity. So I will indicate it by the, these arrows. So these are eigenvectors. But besides eigenvectors, we have other solutions that are going to look, of course, um, 
some uh, some curves. But now notice that uh, since everything near the origin is dominated by um, by the uh, solution corresponding to the smaller eigenvalue, and far from the origin, everything is dominated by the uh, eigenvector corresponding to the larger eigenvalue, right? So, which means that closer to the origin, everything is kind of parallel to the vector uh, one one, and far to the vector two one. So, means that it looks like this, right? And here, so here is the the sketch, and here is how the actual face portrait looks like. So as you see, my sketch is pretty accurate. In this case, when uh, both eigenva eigenvalues are positive, we say that the origin is a nodal source, or asymptotically unstable node. It is asymptotically unstable in the sense that every trajectory eventually goes away from the origin. All right. Now let me tell you how you can determine the type of the critical point at the origin without even sketching the face portrait. So you don't have to, uh, to find um, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So notice that the determinant of this matrix is negative. But I hope you still remember that the determinant of the matrix equals the product of the eigenvalues. So since it is negative, it means that one of the eigenvalues has to be um, positive, the other one is negative. So positive eigenvalue, negative eigenvalue, saddle point. So it is unstable. So let's do this, the same thing. So the determinant of the matrix is now positive. Uh, so the determinant is the product of the eigenvalues and it is positive. So it means that either both positive or both negative or maybe they're complex. But at the same time, notice that the matrix is symmetric. And again, from linear algebra, we know that um, eigenvector eigenvalues of a symmetric matrix are always real. Right? So they, they are real. So And the product of the eigenvalues is positive, but the sum of the eigenvalues is the trace of the matrix. So the trace of the matrix is minus 3 minus 2 is negative, but at the same time it equals to the sum of the eigenvalues. And so we have two unknown numbers. We know that their sum is negative and their product is positive. So hence, they must be both negative. Right? So two negative eigenvalues, asymptotically stable node, or nodal sync. All right, how about this one? So here, the matrix is not symmetric. So the product of eigenvalues is 7. The sum of eigenvalues is 8, so it's the trace. So it means that the um, eigenvalues can be both could be real positive numbers or could be complex conjugate numbers with positive real part. So now we have to write down the whole characteristic polynomial, which is going to be uh, for a 2 by 2 matrix is always r square minus trace A times R plus determinant A. All right, so now the discriminant of our uh, characteristic polynomial, well, it is generally speaking, it is trace A squared minus 4 determinant A is happens to be positive. And if the discriminant is positive, it means that the eigenvalues are real because 
to find eigenvalues, we would have to equate the characteristic polynomial to zero, then we get our quadratic equation, then we get the discriminant positive, so on we get eight plus minus square root of the discriminant over two. I don't want to, to do that, so as long as it is clear that both of them are two real positive numbers, it means that they are different, real, positive, so we have asymptotically unstable node or nodal source. All right, so one more. Again, the product of the eigenvalues is the determinant. The sum of the eigenvalues is the trace. So again, either both real positive or complex conjugates. Now, the if you write down the characteristic polynomial, then the discriminant of the characteristic polynomial is negative. So it means that the eigenvalues are complex and we just don't know how to do it. In the next, um, lecture we're going to learn how to deal with complex eigenvalues. Now we just don't know. So here the answer is don't know. All right, and finally one more um, example. So here we have two eigenvalues and they're equal. So minus two, minus two. But in, in this case, notice that the, of course, the system of differential equations is just x1 prime equals minus two x1 and x2 prime equals minus 2x2. So it is a system of differential equations, but it is trivial in the sense that they are not really a system, but rather they are individual equations, so you can solve them separately. And then if you plot the corresponding uh, phase portrait, then you will see that just everything points towards the origin, and th this is called a proper node or a star point. So here it is asymptotically stable, but if you replace minus 2 with a positive number, then you would get an um, asymptotically an unstable proper node or unstable star point. Okay, so let's recap it very quickly. Right? So if we have a homogeneous linear system of two differential equations with constant coefficients, then if we just want to determine the type of the critical point at the origin, so then we need eigenvalues. Um, so if the product of the eigenvalues, which is the determinant of the matrix, is negative, then we have a saddle point. Right? Then if both are negative, which again can be uh, found out from just looking at the trace and the, the determinant, then we have a nodal sink. If both are positive, then we have an, a nodal source. So if they're equal, and if there are two independent eigenvectors, then the matrix is actually a diagonal matrix and we have a proper node. Um, so then if we just want the, the type, then all the, this information can be extracted from um, the trace and the determinant. And here is how, how we can do it. Ah, no, no sorry. We, um, uh, I want to say that all of the, the stuff is what, what, what we have discussed. But besides, we haven't discussed some cases. Right? So if um, we haven't discussed complex eigenvalues, and we haven't discussed the case when um, the matrix is not diagonalizable. And also, we haven't discussed what we do if one of the eigenvalues is actually zero. Because if one of the values is, uh, eigenvalues is zero, it means that the matrix, the original matrix A, is um, degenerate. Its determinant is zero. And I suggest that you can try to figure out uh, what to do, and you can share your thoughts via the discussion board. And again, if, you, if we just want to find the type of the critical point at the origin, then it's enough to extract the information about the signs of positive